So how do you mark up a PDF on a Mac for free? I'm gonna show you using Preview. All right, welcome back to the channel. And as you know, I do a whole bunch of different videos, but this one's gonna be more of a tutorial or a training video. It's not gonna be for everyone probably, but for most people that wanna know how to mark up PDFs for free without having to buy expensive software, I'm gonna show you how to do that using Preview and all the features built into Preview to go ahead and mark up PDF files. So if you own a Mac and you don't wanna spend a lot of money and you wanna mark up PDF files, I'm gonna share my screen here and we're gonna go through all the different options and how you can do that. Again, it may not be for everyone in this video, like a lot of my users may already know this, but for the people that don't, this can help you out for sure. It's gonna save you a lot of money and just make your life a lot easier. So without further ado, let me go ahead and share my screen. And I'm gonna show you how to mark up all those PDFs, put notes in them and everything else. And you can do it for free with built-in software on the Mac in preview. Let's go. All right, so the very first thing you wanna do is we have to open a file, a PDF file in preview. So I'm gonna show you, I created a sample file over here. So just whatever PDF you wanna highlight or what you, what, you, what you wanna mark up, go ahead and open that up. So you just double click on the file. You can notice that it opens up here in the upper left-hand corner. It opens it up with preview. So once you're in preview, just make sure you are. Here's the sample I'm gonna be using today and this is what we're gonna just show you the examples with. So anyways, there's a whole kind of icon bar up here. You can see all these different icons. This is the main one, but don't click on it yet. I'm gonna show you first this highlighting one. So this one's very simple. All you do is basically, if you select some text here just like this, just like that, you can click this little highlight, it's a little pencil with a line underneath it. Click on it, you can see that it highlighted that text very easily. If you go ahead and you can always do edit undo or you can just select it again and then click the little pencil again, it'll remove the highlight if you wanna remove it. So that's very easy. Let's say you have a whole bunch of stuff you wanna highlight uh, one by one, but you don't wanna to have to come up and click that button every time. You can go over to this little drop down, select let's say yellow. You notice if I do that, right behind this little pen I kind of turn gray. That means it's kind of always selected. So anything now, I anything I basically will go ahead and select, look at that is gonna basically turn yellow behind it and I don't have to keep clicking that button up there. So uh, obviously you can always go edit, undo, edit, undo, and you'll remove all the stuff you wanna do or you can un unselect that and it won't highlight everything like it was. So that's very simple, but that's what this button's for right here. But that's the simple one. So if we go into over here, it says show markup toolbar, click that and you're gonna notice a new toolbar comes on down here, see it? So that's very straightforward. Now. The first thing here is the A, and it's got this little line here. It says text selection. So if you click that, this allows you to you know, select text. That's really simple. So you can go ahead and select any text on the PDF document that you want. Um, you always wanna have that if you're selecting text, and I'll show you, you know, a little bit more about that in a second. The second thing here, though, is it's called, let's see when it comes up here, rectangular selection. So if you click this, this is kinda cool. So let's say I wanted just to send only this part of the page up here to a person in a PDF. I could actually, now that I have this selected, see this little like crosshair? I can click the button, highlight it, and just drag, and then you know select this whole area here, let go, and you can see how it's basically covered everything up here, or it's got a square around this. So I can go up to Edit, Copy, and, uh, and then go to File, New from Clipboard. Now watch what happens, see that? So now this section is just a brand new, separate, completely separate behind it, a PDF file that you can send to somebody. You would just go up to File, Save as PDF, and there you go. I'm not gonna save it because of the fact that I don't want to, just because of example, I'm gonna delete it right now. So that's that's what that tool's for right there. Um, and uh, you know, pretty nice, obviously. You can go ahead and click off that and it's gonna unselect everything as well. The next thing over here, this is an important thing, it's called Redact, and it's going to be something new built into here, fairly new at least. If you click that, it's going to give you kind of a message that redacted content is removed permanently. I don't want to keep seeing that, so I'm going to click OK, but that's exactly what it means. So once this is selected, if I take something and I select it, like this example down here, and let go, you can see it's been redacted. Now, the cool thing is, is I can obviously go up to Edit and Undo, and it'll basically remove it until I save this document. Or I can go, you know, let me go just do this again. And, uh, or I can just mouse over it, see that? And you can see the text behind it while I'm mousing over it. But the, when you save this, the person will only see the axes. They will not be able to get behind there and see it. So this is good for redacting specific content you don't want people to see. This is the official way to do it. You can see it like that until you save it as I mouse over it. But once you save it, you can't. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and edit, undo that as well. Now, one other thing you can do while this is selected 
is if you go outside of the, you see in here it's like a little it'll let you select text but if you go out over here you get that little kind of crosshair again you can take a whole section like this and if you want to redact a whole section at once you just let go and look at that it redacts that whole section now if I mouse over it I can see it again same thing if I save this as a PDF file people will not be able to get underneath that layer and see it it, it allows me right now just because I'm obviously doing it you know I'm still editing this document but I haven't saved it yet so that's redacting getting rid of content I'm gonna go ahead and go edit undo and uh, and now we're okay so the next thing over here this is gonna be basically let me go ahead and mouse over it it's called the sketch and that's a little line tool you can see when I'm down here it looks like a little pen now that I have so if I want to go ahead and change the line, like this is the weight of the line, you can do that. You can also change the color of the line here. I'm going to make it red. So I changed that now. So I'm under the sketch. Now if I want to go ahead and just, let's say, I want this little section over here, or I want to say I want to circle this apple here, and I want to tell someone about it, I can go ahead and circle just like that. All right, and you can see it makes a perfect, it'll try to make a perfect circle there for the person. You can go ahead and grab this and make it bigger and smaller. Now I've circled that. That's kind of cool. Um, so that's one way of doing this. Now, now another thing you want to do is let's just say you go up to sketch again, and this time I want to draw something very specific shape like this, right? Now I just let's say I want that shape. You can see Apple gives me some options. It allows me to keep the shape, and then I can either go here, and it'll Apple will try to make the shape a little bit better, or it'll try to make it a triangle. Um, so because it thinks I'm trying to make a triangle, so it tries to clean up everything. But if you don't want to clean up everything, you can just click that, and it's going to keep your original shape. Obviously, you can go ahead and take little things on the corners like this, and you can extend things like that, make it smaller and bigger, and uh, and that's actually pretty nice. But you can draw. Let me go ahead and edit undo so you can draw things in here and it tries to correct them for you but if you don't want to you know obviously there's a drop down and it'll allow you to keep the shape that you had in there so that's kind of cool right all right so the next thing that you want here let's go ahead and click on this this is going to be shape so it allows you to just put in shapes let's say you want a, a circle for example so it dropped the circle in here now you can go ahead and also you know obviously when you click a shape let's say you have a circle it'll drop it in right there but you can go ahead and change what the circle looks like you can actually there's a fill over here so let's say I want the whole thing red you can see how it did that and now I can drag this around and cover up things like that the issue with shapes though just be be aware that people can see what's behind that it's not redacting the content so they might be able to see what's behind this if you just save it like this versus actually redacting the content but shapes are good for you know drawing symbols and arrows and everything else because if you go back into shapes you can see that it has stars in here it's got arrows so you can take an arrow like this and you can grab it and you can say hey there's text over here you know go ahead and, and do what you need to do over here so um, in any case you, you get the idea all this stuff can be dragged around when you get this little hand icon and you can move it all around or you can click delete and delete stuff so just keep in mind that shapes are very you know that's exactly what they are it allows you to put shapes into your document like arrows and stuff like that but not, you can still see what's behind it. It's not redacted. That's the main thing. So don't think you're covering up the text. There's a way for people to get what's underneath there. All right. The next thing down the line here, let's go ahead and mouse over it, is text. So text is very simple as well. You click on something, and it gives you a text box, right? And there is the text box. And you can type in basically, and let me just go ahead and do that. So this is a test. You can go ahead and click on that. Now, once you click on it, you can move this around and you can go ahead and say, hey, this is what I want to talk about. So you can, you know, let's go ahead and put that there. And then we're going to go ahead and, you know, make an arrow like this and we'll say whatever you want to do just to kind of mark up the, the thing. Text is very easy. So you just basically click on the text icon. Um, over here, it allows you to change the way the text is going to look. And that's what this little A and big A is for over here. But if you want to actually write text, you click on it, and you can see down here it creates this little document. You type what you want in, click off of it, and then it gives you this little hand, and you can move it around like this. So you can add text to anything in a document. So that's really straightforward as well. All right, let's go down the list after the text here. Let's go to the next one. So if you click on this, or not click on it, but mouse over it, it says sign, and that's what it's really used for. So I think I showed people how to do this before. If you click on this, though, you're going to see that a camera will come up. You can see me there. You can. This is not my real signature, but you can sign your name on a piece of paper, and you can hold it up to the camera. See this? What's going to happen is it's going to reverse it for you and then put the text you know, as good as it can in there. Um, you can see it there. And then you can click done. So it created a signature. Let's go ahead and do one more because that didn't come out perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and hold up a little piece of paper on that line there, move it towards the camera. 
It's gonna go ahead and take it and it reverses it for you and then you can click done. Once you have that, it's gonna give you, so next time I click on this, it's gonna give you your signature or whatever you wrote in there. You can write a whole bunch of stuff if you want. And you can click on that. And you can see as soon as I click on that over here, it'll add it to the document, see that? And you can resize this now and you can add this anywhere in the document. So for instance, let's say you go in here and you wanna write something, let's say you create signature. You can write a whole paragraph in there or just your signature, usually your signature. And then let me go ahead and cancel that. And then it'll add it to this list. You can kind of delete these from the list as well. You can just drag them, like I said, right into the document just by clicking on them. And then once they're in the document over here, you can move them around. So let's just, it's a cool way of adding your own text and handwriting. It knows to reverse everything for you. Very straightforward there. And that's actually what that field is for there. All right, the next field, so that's in this list here. It's a note, and this is kind of a cool thing. So if you click on note, you can see that it brings open a yellow box here. And I'm just gonna type in whatever I want, note, see it there? And I'm gonna click off of it. So now that note is, you can put that note anywhere, and let's say right above example, and if someone clicks on it in the document, it's gonna come up with whatever's underneath there. So you can put a whole series of notes in here, you know, whatever you wanna do, just stick it in there, and it's gonna let people click on it, and then it's gonna give a note. That's really simple. Um, one thing you may wanna do once you have a bunch of these notes in here, is if you go up to view at the top of the, you know, once you're in preview, go up to view, and then, where it says hide sidebar, we're hiding it right now, you can go down and you can, let me see here, you can go highlights and notes, see that, and click that. What's gonna happen is it's gonna create a sidebar over here and it's gonna have all your notes in here. So let's say I create another note and this is just a test, just like that, and I click off of it and then I move this note down here. You can see that if I have a ton of notes, I can go through all my notes here if I click on them, on the, on the sidebar, it's gonna highlight where they are. Or if I click over here, it's gonna highlight it over here. So it's just a cool way of you know knowing what your notes are over here in the sidebar without actually having to click on them all. And uh, so that's one you know tip there to turn this sidebar on if you want to as well. Oh yeah, and one thing I did forget to actually mention here is there's actually two little things. So if you go back under here, this is gonna be the shapes again. There's two things in here which I didn't cover. At the very bottom, if you mouse on this, this one down here, you can click on this. What this is basically gonna do is it's gonna allow you to select, you know, if you select this, you're gonna be able to highlight a portion of the text like that. So you can see it's highlighted there. And then you have to drag, the weird thing is once you highlight a section, let's say you wanna send this to somebody so they don't, their eye doesn't go over here, you have to actually, you can resize this, but you can't drag it, see it doesn't do anything. But if I drag it from the outside, it lets me drag it. So you gotta go into this dark area and then you can position this text anywhere you want the document. So it's kind of a highlighter for the whole thing. So it keeps this white, keeps this kind of gray. So that's actually, again, under shapes, it's this icon over here, which is a weird thing. I don't know what you'd really use it for, just kind of highlighting everything at once, I guess. That's pretty straightforward as well. So again, if I go delete, I'll delete that section out. And let's go to the last thing here. So the last thing again under shapes is over here. So let's go see if it says anything. It's not saying anything to me. So what this basically does, and this is kind of a cool thing, is you go over here and it gives you a little magnifying glass. See it there? So again, let me go ahead and delete that. You go to shapes again, and then you go here, which is this little second icon to the right. It's gonna give you a magnifying glass. See that? Now that allows you to kind of highlight a bunch of text with the magnifying glass. You can go ahead and click on this little, there's a little green dot there. And if you can go ahead and do that, it's gonna go ahead and, you know, let me first do this. First click on this little blue dot on the bottom. You can expand this to make it bigger, sorry about that, just so you can see it. Then obviously you can move this around, but if you click on this little, this little kind of green one, what it does is it kind of will make the text bigger or smaller inside of the bubble. So now I can highlight different sections of the text that I want. You can imagine if a lot of this other stuff wasn't, you know, wasn't on here and didn't look so messy, yeah, a lot of this stuff would, would basically make a little bit more sense. But I have everything in here, based, you know, kind of screwing everything up. So let me go ahead and delete that. So you can see if you wanted to highlight a section or highlight this apple, or maybe there's a part of a picture or just that little text right there you can use that and again that is obviously right here in the menu so I think that's everything in this menu and I hope this helps people you know realize how to annotate stuff using preview and make sure it's free and you don't have to spend a ton of money so let's finish the video now all right so what do you think about that pretty easy huh so as you can see there's a lot of cool features built into the Mac that comes standard with Mac software so instead of buying really expensive software where you have to you know sometimes it's a hundred bucks 200 bucks for like Adobe you can go ahead and buy that software if you need it, you need it, because obviously that can do a lot more. It's a little bit more powerful. But if you just need basic markup stuff, you know, Preview has a ton of features built into it, like I just showed you. So 
post in the comments if this helped you at all. Just want to help people that are trying to just get into Mac or they're basically, you know, they've just never used these features before. Once you get, you know, using them just for even a couple of weeks, it, you know, sticks with you for a long time. And the next time you get a PDF, you know how to do it. So hopefully this helps a lot of people out there. And uh, let's go ahead and wrap it up. I just wanted to go ahead and show people how this is done. We'll talk to everybody soon. Stay safe out there. Peace.